So I'm here in the combine and we're gonna add a little something to this combine that we needed for a very long time. That's probably kind of part of the reason why we have a dent in the back because we kind of backed into something. So here I'm going to be uh, installing and reviewing this Halo View 2.4G digital wireless monitor camera system. This is the model number right here, MC7101. Now, from the camera to the monitor is wireless, but you still have to run a wire to get power to both. But you don't have to run a wire from this camera to this monitor, it'll just go through the antennas. And they sent, Halo View sent this out to review. And we might get a couple more cameras for it here in the future. But uh, it has one. Haven't even opened it yet, so. We've been wanting to buy one of these things for a couple years now. Just never got around to doing it. So now we'll open the box. Gotta figure out how you do that. There we go. So, here it is. I think this was supposed to be on top, the user manual. Otherwise, we got some antennas. I believe that antenna is for the camera, and then these two are for the monitor. Then we got our 7 inch screen here. And I want to mount this screen somewhere in here. I'm not exactly sure yet. Maybe over here. But I'm going to figure a spot out. Might have to build a bracket. I use the bracket off of that and run it down. But that's the screen. And here's the camera. Wow, that has some weight to it. Here's the camera. Has a little sunshade on it too if you ever had to block out the light or the sun. So that's that. Then they give you the sticky pad for the monitor. We might be able to stick that on the window right here or something like that. And then I might not even have to make a bracket. But for the screen, I'm going to find the... I would think there's a fuse box in the combine. And I can run the power to the screen from there. And then the camera, I'll just have to run it to the battery. Or one of the batteries. I'm going to start getting to work, I guess. Well, I have a some sort of a bracket made. Nothing's really tight and set. This bracket came off the corn planter I had the back drag on it <clears throat> we took those off and this piece is perfect so what I'm actually gonna do before I get this all done I'm gonna scrape the paint off and then paint the bracket black make it look a little better to match this but when you sit here I have this camera like right where your head would sit you can have a clear view of that and when the headers on the ground you should be able to see the whole header just fine it's lifted all the way up right now and the snoots are folded up this monitor kind of blocks out just the top corner but when you sit back here and my dad he's shorter he drives the combine a little more you can see it a little better than i can but otherwise i mean it only blocks out maybe a quarter inch so it actually looks pretty good there I don't think it really blocks the field of view very much either. Pretty happy actually. Tonight I'm gonna take that bracket off, repaint it like I said, but I think I'm gonna start working on the wiring of this right now. So I couldn't really find like a fuse box in here. I looked it up, but I really couldn't find one in the cab. So I asked Dwight Cooster how he uh, put his on his 9510. And he said he got the power from the window wiper. So right here, 
is the window wiper switch where the power goes in and when you touch the red wire and the black wire it'll turn this on so that's where I'm gonna get the power from I'm gonna splice right into that and it'll it'll work so uh, I'll probably run the wire I wonder if I can run the wire this wire up here but I'll have to figure that out somehow a lot of electrical stuff up there that's for sure but I did get the screen to turn on when I touched the wires there so I'm um, going to have to figure out how to route the wire now also while I'm talking wherever this cord went Now you see all these other wires, you can hook them up to like your turn signals and stuff. And let's say you turn your left blinker on, it'll automatically change the camera view on here. To let's say if you had a camera on like the left side of your car or truck or whatever. And then you turn it right, if you wire it up right and you flip the blinker right, it'll automatically change the view on the camera. But I'm not going to use that, so what I'm going to do is tape these away like that well I got the wire run up through here I still need to zip tie it back so it looks cleaner but I got I forgot to clip this one over I got it spliced in using these plugs don't have the wire strip or anything you just stick the main power through and then the wire you want to splice in you stick in there's a piece of metal you crimp down and then you clip it over and that's it and when we turn the battery on, you can see the screen turns on right now. It says no signal because I don't even have the camera wired up. It's still sitting right here. Turn that off, and the screen comes off. There's a lot of extra wire that came with it. So, um, did I really just route that through the steering wheel? No. I think I did. Oh, I can just unplug it right here. That's good. That scared me for a second. I thought I had the extra wire routed through the steering wheel. Um, I'm going to zip tie it up, stick it back up in there, zip tie that over, and then put the whole thing back up in, screw it back in place. Which might not be that fun because you got to get the headliner lined up with the screws. So, I'll let you know when I get that these control panel back in. You can see the wire got ran up through here. All you can see is the yellow zip tie. Ran out of black one, so just had to use the yellow one, but turn the battery on. Screen fires right up. No signal. You can see the red light there. Cam 4. Turn the window wipers on. Shut that off. Everything works, so time to do the camera now. And then Sooner or later, we're going to get two more cameras and put it on. This one is going to be a backup camera. The second camera is going to be on top of the grain tank. So we can see the corn coming in. Um, also, sometimes this says it's full. But if you're halfway across the field and you're on flat land, you got that camera. You can see how full it actually is. And then the next one will be an auger camera on the auger so here you can see how full the wagon is without actually having to look over or if the auger is not straight to the side you can grab it up so I got everything done got the camera in it's all wired up all you gotta do is connect it to your battery I can show you what the camera looks like on the back I put it on a magnet but I'm gonna put these tools and boxes away tomorrow we got a freaking big old thunderstorm coming we got flood watch tornado watch gotta get the combine in the shed and the round blower in the shed so the second i turn the battery on the screen will turn on and then we'll turn it on right here now you can see exactly what is behind us now if i had multiple cameras you could go to camera two camera three and camera four you could also split between camera one camera three 
and then there's just a bunch of freaking settings in there that you can play with menu uh, then you can choose which one you want quad you can have one two camera one and three one and four two and three two and four three and four all four you know that stuff but I have to read through the manual and figure out some stuff but this thing needs to get in the shed well that is just cool oh might want to uh, shut the ladder in the back that wouldn't be good if I busted that off I saw that in the mirror well I'm back here right there is the camera and on the monitor, there's an SD card in the back. And let's say you wanted to record, let's say you're driving down the road and you want to record in case you get an accident or whatever. These will record for you and you can store it on an SD card. So there's the camera up there. That black thing underneath is a big magnet I have. Then I ran the wire over this and then snuck it around, zip tied it, good. And look into the battery. I'm gonna go put this in the shed. Um, that'll be the end of this camera video. There will be more when I add the other two cameras. I think this is a pretty much an addition almost everybody needs on a combine. Yeah, the mirrors you can see kind of to the side, but you never can truly see exactly behind you. And I think that camera is really gonna work good going down the highway because you can see exactly when the cars are coming and then when you're backing up around here we have a lot of fences on the edge of the field or trees and uh, you don't want to back into those and the big dent we have in the back in the combine we actually backed into a wagon so now we'll be able to tell what the hell is behind us it'll be nice back into the shed too we've wanted one of these for ever so uh check the link in the description i have a link for these cameras i think they're actually really good quality they have a lot of weight to them and usually weight means quality what i've heard so uh catch you next time